Well, Thanksgiving is over. We are officially in the Christmas season. And I want to talk to you about a gift. Now, this is going to be a little different. It's going to be not what you're used to hearing. And um, talking about God and starting with Christmas vacation is probably pretty unorthodox as well. But when I thought about talking to you about this gift, for some reason, this scene from Christmas Vacation came to mind. So I want to play it and then uh, we'll talk about the special gift. gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That just cracks me up. Well, I do want to talk about a gift that keeps on giving the whole year and our whole lives. And of course, it's the gift of Jesus. Uh, in Hebrews 10, verses 5 and 10, I'm going to read these to you. It talks about this very gift. But, you know, normally this time of year, you know, we're thinking about Christmas, we're thinking about the baby Jesus, and that's good, that we should. Um, but that's not where I'm going. I'm not going to the book of Luke in chapter 2 like we usually focus. I'm going to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 5 and 10, and this is in the New Living Version. And it says, and this is Jesus talking to God. When Christ came to the world, he said to God, You do not want animals killed or gifts given in worship. You have made my body ready to give as a gift. Verse 10 says, Our sins are washed away, and we are made clean, because Christ gave his own body as a gift to God. Have you ever thought of that? I mean, when I read that recently, because I've been studying the book of Hebrews, that really struck me. Jesus told his Father, I am giving my body back to you as a gift. And that, of course, means in death, you know, when he sacrificed his body on the cross. And we all know that he did that for us because that's the only way to make uh, access to the Father for us. He had to sacrifice his body and die on the cross and rise again. And then he ascended to the Father and he sits at his right hand in heaven. And because of that, then when we choose to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we choose to follow him and be his disciples, then... Um, that's, that's the reason for it all. But there's also this reason. He was being obedient to the Father. And he said he was giving his body back as a gift. So what do we do with that? I mean, of course, you know, we follow, we follow Christ. But, you know, it tells us in Psalms 139 that God gave us our very life. That he formed us in our mother's womb. And I encourage you to read that. But why did he do it? Well, he did it first and foremost for us to glorify him. And secondly, because he wanted to have a relationship with us. So if he gave us our very life, if he gave us this body and our soul and our spirit, then what are we to do with that? Well, it tells us in Romans 12, 1, Therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual worship. God gave Jesus his body. And then Jesus, in turn, 33 years later, gave his body back to God. And we are supposed to do what Jesus does. That's what being a follower is. You know, so we are supposed to give ourselves back to God. Romans 12, 1 says, a living sacrifice. And so it's a daily thing that we choose. And, and I, you know, it says body, and I do believe it means our physical body, but I believe it means all of us. And we have other scriptures that tell us that. You know, we're to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul, and all of our strength. You know, it's our body, it's our soul, our spirit. We're supposed to do this every day as his followers, as his disciples. 
and it is a gift. It is a sacrifice. I'm not saying it's easy. Uh, the scriptures won't tell you it's easy. In fact, the scriptures tell you it's hard. I can tell you it's hard. Anyone who follows the Lord knows it's hard at times. And there's times there's blessings and there's joy and there's abundance and it's all mixed in together. But it is our gift to him and he deserves that. So I encourage you this Christmas season, as you think about the word gift, just ponder that for a moment. Think about how God gave Jesus his body and then Jesus gave his body back as a gift. And they did that for one another, but they also did that for us. And so we need to do that in turn. We need to give ourselves completely, body, soul, and spirit back to him. I thank you for your time. My name is Candy Rice, and I am the author of He Enriched My Life by the Death I Suffered and the founder of a ministry called Living Hope. And I love to share the Word of God, to share the physical, mental, and spiritual healing truths that He taught me as I went through clinical depression and came out of it again through His healing. If you'd like me to come speak at a retreat, at a conference, at your church, at a meeting, any event, just contact me. Uh, you can reach me at candyrice.org or through Facebook, and I would love to come. So be that gift to God, not only this Christmas season, but all year long. Be that gift that keeps on giving all the year.